to grow it here again. I think that if you're watching this video, you've probably been as frustrated as I've, I've been with the issues with um, Resolve and um, NVIDIA. So, I, so one of my main problem has been, and if we have, just have a look here, for example, here we have Resolve, and I've been um, one of my main tools that I use is the, um, for example, cut and edit. And uh, my experience has been that, um, you know, using it, then it becomes incredibly slow, and then it um, complains about some some function failing due to the GPU failing, and then ultimately you end up with an unresponsive resolve, and then you just have to shut down resolve, reboot the computer, even possibly reboot the computer, and then restart it all up. And also, I've been having issues in XSplit uh, the, uh, when I'm streaming and sharing sc uh, screens. Then um, it just locks up the whole computer. And I've been investigating this a lot and really just pulling the hair out as to what, what could be wrong. And um, I stumbled along one line of thought, which I actually tried. So let's have a look at that. So anyway, I've been blaming, um, you know, Resolve and XSplit for all the problems, and um, actually it turns out that um, NVIDIA has a role to play. So NVIDIA, um, little known to the majority of people, has actually two sets of drivers, it turns out. So one set of drivers is for mainly gaming and optimized for gaming um, people, and has the like cutting bleeding edge features for those. And, and has a little bit less emphasis on stability and that's sad to say that's the default driver set you get installed on your computer and the one that the checks updates on and um, obviously creates some problems from time to time to um, productivity software so, so well, how you can fix this is you can go into the um, NVIDIA experience um, application and then you go to drivers like you usually do, and here it says check for updates, no big deal. But actually there is a menu that I've never actually went into myself, um, where you can actually select what um, driver preference do you have. Is it for the game ready driver or the studio driver? And uh, it actually turns out that if you haven't got the studio driver, and I've, t I've switched between both like to confirm this, if I don't use this and I use the game ready driver then I get a lot of stability issues in Resolve like it, it makes Resolve like really on the edge of non-usable in my configuration the machine and then also XSplit has this lockup problem um, so uh, I, w I wish this would be better publicized this information about this, these two options, because I don't think that I, I've talked to several people, and there doesn't seem to be very many people that realize that there are these two main options for the driver sets. And actually, if you're a gaming, even if you're a gaming streaming uh, channel, you should actually use the studio driver because they've actually emphasizing um, stability of operation uh, above performance. So maybe in your case, it would be more important to get the stream out. In without um, glitches and crashes, so then I also recommend using the studio driver instead of the actual game options. I think there's a lot of cutting edge development happening in the gaming drivers that causes lots of pain for productivity applications. So, anyway, now I'm back to a situation where um, Resolve works reliably up to a performance level that I could expect to have with my setup. I mean, I don't have the most powerful setup on the planet, so I can expect it to be a bit slow and, and clunky from time to time. But, but at least it's, you know, when it's slow and slows down and you just let it be, then it actually catches up and then it shows that it's actually working. So, uh, so that's nice. So I don't get this, de you know, deadlock situation, like these GPU failures I don't get. And then XSplit has also shown to be um, very stable. So anyway, that was a really short one, but I recommend you can test it. I mean, you know, if you if you don't think it will help, then you know, I still think it 
think it's worth like just giving it a giving it a try because you can actually go into the um, GeForce Experience, you can switch between the driver sets, and then you can test yourself if it if it improves some problem you're having or not. But I, but at least for me, it did uh, significantly improve the stability of operations that I perform in terms of productivity application. That's both on the streaming side and for um, using Resolve. And, and really having unstable resolve is absolute pain because um, you know I haven't got the most highest performance video editing rig so any 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 kind of disturbances beyond the fact that it's a bit slow is not, is not something I want to see but anyway I hope this um, turns out to be useful for uh, somebody um, you know press the like hit subscribe there are other videos of similar content coming out from time to time and tell other people you know spread the word because I didn't know about this until I dug it up from Google search after Google search after Google search and I suddenly stumbled on this uh, and uh, did this um, switch to the studio drivers and then actually a much more stable platform for what I do at least so anyway I'll see you in the next one